The waiting is over. Georgia Bulldog fans now know they will not see Jake Fromm in a Bulldogs uniform next fall. Fromm announced on Twitter this afternoon he will pass up his senior season and enter the NFL draft in April. In our 13 WMAZ poll, when enough you think Jake made the right decision, you can let us know on our app or online at 13WMAZ.com slash vote. Marvin James has followed Jake since he was a Little League All-Star. He joins us now in studio with more on today's big announcement. That's right, Frank. It's a bittersweet moment for dog fans all across the country, and especially for those with a close connection to Jake Fromm right here in Central Georgia. I got a chance to catch up with Fromm's high school football coach and friend who says this decision wasn't easy for Jake, but he's looking forward to the days ahead because it's so much bigger than the game for Jake Fromm. When the world was first introduced to Jake Fromm, he was just a 12-year-old little leaguer, leading the Warner Robins All-Stars to Williamsport. But after a young Jake finished middle school, the dual sport phenom had a decision to make about which road to take. Uh, he, he assured me that I, I'm going to play football, want to play football, and want to be good at football. And um, I just remember a, a great smile, a yes or no sir, and a great handshake. That's Jake's former high school head football coach, Vaughn Lassiter. 40 starts later at quarterback, beginning the middle of his freshman season, Jake went on to own a school records for season passing yards and a career with nearly 13,000 and 116 touchdowns to make Hoko a team to be reckoned with once again. Um, you could also know that if you were in a meeting with him for five minutes that he was, he was over the top. Um, intellectually, and uh, he had a really good knowledge of football, and he picked it up, you know, rather quickly. Um, and, and so you could you could tell early on that he was going to be just a little bit different than than things you know than quarterbacks that I'd had in the past. And it wasn't long there that he once again would show the world just what he was made of. Fromm was challenged into action early in the first game of his college career after an injury to then starter Jacob Eason, and Lassiter says he knew all number eleven needed was an opportunity. He started, or he's played in every game he ever dressed out of, in high school and college. Uh, he's been fun to watch. He's a quarterback that will be, will be remembered in Georgia forever. A positive relationship between coach and player that goes beyond the X's and O's and will continue into the next phase of Jake's life on and off the field. He's a one-of-a-kind kid, uh, one that was a uh, started out more of a, a father-son relationship, uh, so to speak, and then kind of kind of evolved into a, a, a really good friendship and um, it's one that I'll treasure forever. Now I had a chance to talk to Coach Lassiter again on the phone before showtime and he told me that Jake seemed very calm and secure about his decision and he's now in Mobile, Alabama preparing for com combines and the NFL draft days ahead. Now, it's been a great seven years covering Jake on both the high school and football fields. I too am excited mm -hmm. about the next level for Jake. Frank, right. you know, a lot of folks are, and they'll of course always remember what he did at Georgia. Thank you, Marv. We'll chat again with you in a few minutes. Dog fans having a lot to say about the move on our Facebook page. Tanil says, Good luck to Jake. She will miss seeing him play, but will be pulling for him in the NFL. Jenny thinks the decision is a mistake. She says he didn't have that great of a season to go out on, and she thinks he needed that last year. But Kathy says she hates to see him go, but wish him nothing but the best in his journey. She remembers watching him in Little League through his high school football career in Houston County. She adds, once a dog, always a dog. Feel free to weigh in on our Facebook page in the comments section under this story and continue to vote in our poll. Those results tonight at 11.